everyone hope you're having a great night uh, what I want to show you in this video is just how to quickly take your Lumion photos into Photoshop just do a little post processing uh, and I'm gonna show you the way that I think is the easiest uh, way of doing it uh, I will just close this down because I just had this open testing something but uh, I'm gonna reopen Photoshop so I did make a video about this uh, with Lightroom um, and uh, but I know that some some people may not have Lightroom but if you do have Photoshop um, then I can show you this trick quickly. If you don't have Lightroom or Photoshop, I really would recommend you getting it if you um, have it in your budget because I, I think that this can really uh, kind of kick your renders to the next level and it is a very simple thing to do. Um, and as good as Lumion is for all the, the post-processing effects, I, I really don't recommend that you only stick with those effects. Like that's kind of the bulk of the work, but then um, you, I, in my opinion, for like final images, you should always uh, edit them with a photo editor just to bring up the colors or, you know, maybe just uh, bring the highlights down, that sort of thing. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to drag my image in here. And this is just one that I've been playing around with, uh, testing a few things. Um, so the uh, what, to, what you're going to do is go to filter. You're going to go to camera raw filter. So as you can see here, you can see all these different things here. Uh, the easiest way of doing it is like, you can just kind of bring the exposure up and then it's a little brighter. Obviously that's way too bright, but you get the, the point of like how that works. Um, but what you can just do is if you're not sure about all the sliders, just click auto. And then it'll automatically adjust for you. I normally like to bring up the exposure a little bit cause I find it's, it is a little bit low. And then the texture clarity and dehaze, I just bring up to like 0 0.3, 0 0.3, something like this. Like just normally like under like five and under just because I find it helps like bring the image up a little bit more makes it a little more sharp um, but it, I find it doesn't take away too much and then I normally come in here and I bring this down to like negative three um, the reason being is uh, it may not show up that well on this but I find that if you make like a warm image in Lumion and then you bring it into Photoshop and just make it a little tiny bit um, cold with the temperature uh, a little bit on the blue side there then I, I just find you get this like contrast of like the darker areas have like almost like a bluish uh tinge to them but then the, the lighter areas have like a red to them um and it, it just gives you like more of a range i guess uh and i just kind of like how that looks so you can maybe see this a little bit uh, in the image like this part here is like it's got a little blue tinge to it and then this side is like a little bit red i just like the contrast especially where the sun is coming uh from that top angle or i guess it's coming from this side but <laughs> um yeah and then so what you can do is just hit okay now this is destructive i'll keep so you should keep that in mind uh when i'm bringing something into photoshop i don't really care um if it's uh you know if it's destructive because i typically just bring the image in change it and then i save it as a different image but um if you are worried about that just um go here and duplicate the layer and then go into raw uh, camera filter with that layer uh, and just make sure it's your top layer and you can export it like that and you'll still have the original but as i said that's not really that big of a deal just keep it in mind that this is uh destructive so there's the image we're gonna go to file export quick export and i'll save this as final test um Just put these here and so you can see the difference um, the one on the right uh, the the area that I find it sort of shows the best is one in the sky now up here might look a little bit dark because I was using the vignette in uh, Lumion just to try that out I probably shouldn't have used that effect for this um, personally I think if you're gonna use a vignette it looks a lot better if you do it inside of Photoshop but um, you can definitely see how like the sky is a bit brighter. I find that this area right here uh, is just a lot cleaner than this. This is like a little dull. Um, you know, the image is like the colors aren't really popping, but in this one, like I just find that it, like you're looking at it and it's just much more interesting. Uh, something I will say about this though is it is kind of overexposed right here. So um, what I would probably do is go back into Photoshop and go to, you can go back in here again. You'll see that everything is, um, set back to zero because now it's it's kind of reopening the image and it hasn't seen it before but i would just probably bring the highlights down a little bit so that we can see uh kind of see these lines on the siding here like it, again this might be kind of hard to see on the video but uh you want to have like you don't want the you don't want like it to be so bright that it just looks like a white 
um, like white metal all the way down. You want to be able to see those individual lines. Um, so, yeah, and that, that's what I'm talking about right here. But, um, yeah, so hopefully uh, you found that helpful. If you don't have Lightroom or Photoshop, I really, really recommend that you get one or the other. Um, it's, I, I think it is extremely crucial to have uh, post-processing outside of Lumion. Um, while the Lumion effect stacks are great and it can help you kind of get that, um, like a really polished image, I don't think that that should be considered post-processing in itself. Like I would honestly recommend that you almost never um, send out like a picture that is not edited in a some kind of photo software um, after it because that is really what they're made to do. Like it's made for you to take like a, a fairly finished image and then just to put that like that final uh, finished finishing touches onto it. Uh, so then you, you like the colors are like pop. Um, you can even go back and add grain, which may sound kind of weird, but if you add grain into your photos, uh, they can actually look a little more realistic since you would be getting grain a lot of the time in um, some cameras. So it, it can be kind of weird that it's like, you you know, you try and get something out of Lumion that's like as clean as possible, but then you kind of go and put grain on it. But it can be a really nice effect if it's used properly. So yeah, let me know uh, if there's any other videos that people need made. Um, I really do like taking um, suggestions just because it, like I do find it interesting, um, I guess some of the issues that people run into, because I know that I ran into a ton myself. Uh, I still do. So yeah, if there's any questions that you have for me, uh, I'd love to try and figure it out with you. Um, and yeah, so anyone that is uh, not subscribed to the channel, uh, I'd love it if you could hit that subscribe button and uh, hopefully I can see you in some future videos. And if you are subscribed, thank you very much for supporting the channel. And I will have some videos coming out this week that I think you guys will find really interesting. So have a good one. Take it easy.